Hey guys, I'm back, and I'm exploring the a the region here, the ancient dino region. This is the area where that's beyond getting past Taruman in the forest, where it tries to shoot you. So yeah, you run into a dinosaur Digimon, and plenty more of them. Oh, this should be a quick fight. Okay, so he has the same attack. He has a Megaton Punch, or some kind of kick. Some of these Digimon display different animations for their techniques. Okay, awesome. Ah, uh, there was no need for me to heal him, because he has to go to bed after this. Let's see if I can grab that HP chip. The ancient dino region. Where we live is in the glacial time zone. The place where time goes slow. The speedy time zone. You know, I do want to ask some questions. Okay. Let's go get some rest. Let's take a look at what's up ahead. Ancient Glacial Region. Yeah, remember, there's a lot of Vermilimon. Vermilimon is pretty much the red monochromon. That's the name of that Digimon. You know, being in this environment kind of reminds me of a uh, science project I did as a little kid. I had to construct a dinosaur made out of clay, I believe, and I had to re do research about a dinosaur called the Diplodocus. Yeah. Kind of looked like this Digimon. I don't have any more food, though. That's gonna be an issue. These Digimon are not hostile. They're not hostile. They don't attack you. There's a, to the north, there's ice and snow. Living in such a cold place is crazy. Any more tips? A small city made of iron to the west. Groups of Digimon that have horns or claws. I hear they make their own homes by... Oh, yeah. I know what he's talking about. Forest with buildings. Probably talking about File City. The Great Canyon. Can't see the middle of the island. I see only clouds. Talking about Freeze Land, and the others must be Gear Savannah. What does this one have to say? Let's keep going. I don't have that many items. Let's see. Okay, I've got enough bits to get more food, and hopefully that's what I can get from this vending machine. Steak. And meat. Okay. This should be enough for my Digimon. For my Metal Greymon. That, this should be enough to, to satisfy his hunger. Yeah, sometimes the items generated are really random. It's the speedy time zone beyond this point. Don't get too close. Yeah, Tyranimon's not exactly cooperative, is he? Okay, here's the biggest problem.
what I don't want to do is stay here too long because the Digimon will die even quicker. In the ancient speedy region, your Digimon, the clock on your Digimon's life goes faster than in a regular environment. What's down here? Nothing. Can't linger for too long. I had steak. Why is moldy meat... Unbelievable. Okay, so he's fine. Let's see if we can avoid this. Love the view of the fossils. This seems to be all there is. Let me take a look. Is there anything else around here? Guess I have to talk to Sabredrum on here. Oh boy. I just realized. I have to battle this Digimon and possibly one more. And they'll both give me a run for my bits. See if I can corner Saber Jermon so that he or she doesn't fire those blasts again. Maybe I can interrupt her animations. Let's see if I can go into a defensive mode. You know what? I don't even need to waste my MP. Just let her fire so I can use my attack back. Okay, I'm probably losing more health than I was willing to put up with. Okay, you know what? Just attack. Let's use the Gigas. No, this is not good. The liquid crystallization state. Oh, this is the worst possible time for that. Come on. Okay, good. And no item dropped. <laughs> Turn at the side of the bone tunnel. Okay, let's see what... Oh, I, rem I recollect what that means. In this tunnel, you have to turn left. Gotta be real careful here. Not to battle them. As long as it's not necessary. Something that fell from the sky. Ah, Meteormon, the evolution of Gatsumon. I remember Meteormon from Season 5, Digimon Savers, the one with Marcus and those other characters. You know, the player character is kind of an asshole at this point, always trying to get into fights. I kind of thought he would be more like the type to refrain from fighting as much as possible. Instead, tries to talk things out. 
you know, that would make my job a lot easier. Oh, okay. At least I'll be able to finish this. Okay, good. We're done. The meteorite tribe is born in the sky and then falls to the ground. And then we sleep for a long time. Too bad, Meteormon. Too bad we never follow up with this guy ever again. This is like the first and only time he's in the game. Let me grab the chip. And then we'll be on our way out. I'll use the autopilot to get us back home. I just need to get away from these guys. Come on. Okay, so there's no other place to go. There's no other way here. Well, maybe I should just use the autopilot and go home. Actually, there is one more way I want to go to. If I can't make it past the Digimon, I will use Autopilot. Come on. Let's see if we can make it back in one piece. Okay, good. He entered the tournament, that's right. I haven't really forgotten. Uh, I've just been putting one goal in front of me. rather than secondary or tertiary goals. It was a meteorite. Whoa. Jeez, Master Tyrannomon is bigger. Wow, man, <laughs> I thought Tyrannomon was big. Whew. I'll try not to speed up the text bubbles too fast. I guess, to close out the video, the last thing I'll do is participate in the tournament. I want to see if Master Tyrannomon has any new dialogue and then I'm gone. Yep, and then I'm gone. Alright, let's speak to Vegemon, and he'll give us a sirloin. The sirloin is basically, like, a much bigger meat than giant meat. I'm gonna sell the moldy meat at the risk of him... I mean, at the risk of Metal Greymon getting sick from us me using it. Yeah, because moldy meat is really just rotted meat. You put that in anybody's stomach, I don't imagine the outcome will be well. Let's sell this thing. How much can we get for it? Because it said steak when I acquired the moldy meat. Okay. Am 
my items. Okay, so I have enough room for two more items. That's fine. I wonder if Punimon has a new message for us. Nope. Same, same stuff. All right, so I'm gonna save the game, enter the tournament, and then just close out the video. I'm actually gonna tell you a little bit about the way the arena works once we go inside. Oh, he doesn't say anything about Tyrannomon. Raise your Digimon well and your Tamer level will go up. Let's see if Euromon has anything to say. Besides walking in mist. Get up very early and walk in the mist. Something good will happen. You know, I don't really know what that means. And as for Bergermon, I don't know if I said this before, but if the more areas you go to after you've recruited Bergermon to your city, the more she'll be able to take you to those areas. The more she will put them on a list, basically. Can always look at Shelmon's newspaper. Forward, nothing more for now. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna go look at the UFO sightings. I'm gonna see if it's there. I mean, I I want to keep the video at 20 minutes, but I don't think there's anything else I can do. I mean, that will keep me within the bounds of 20 minutes. But the earliest I can get this video done, the better. And I don't have an autopilot, so I, I won't record myself going back to the city. No, there's no point in that. It just wastes extra space. Okay, nothing new on this front. Alright, time to go home. See you guys next video.